Hallo Welt, hier ist Ormus Magic Blocks und heute schauen wir uns zusammen den Start von den Previews von Murders of Carl of Manor an. Ich muss heute länger arbeiten, konnte also noch nicht reinschauen. Das Video schauen wir uns jetzt an, ich reagiere ungefiltert sofort darauf. Ich habe noch nichts davon gesehen und deswegen würde ich sagen, wir springen gleich rein und ihr bekommt sofort meine Reaktion. Auf geht's! A recent string of murders has planted the seed of societal collapse here on Ravnica. Okay. How did this get so out of hand ja. and who could be behind it? Lauter Morde auf Ravnica. Chris Croft ist ja der in fact, Investigator. Der Mastermind ist hier mit uns in diesem very Raum. Das ist richtig. Einer von diesen Ravnikens ist verantwortlich für alles. Und ich, Detective Elkwist, welche Gilde ist schuld? Das ist ganz einfach, really. Wir werden sehen. Die Gilde Maze. Willkommen zurück zum Stadtscape von Ravnica. You'll need all your wits about you to unravel the mystery that's been building here. Crack puzzles, collect evidence, and identify suspicious individuals in order to discover who is behind the series of grisly murders throughout the plane. Ja, the brilliant wie immer, detective top notch, ne? Kann man nicht sagen. recently Kennen announced ja. that he has discovered the guilty party and invited everyone involved in the investigation to join him for the reveal. But which of them did it? We will go over the events so far and attempt to discover the killer before Detective Prop can unveil the truth. Our story began in the wake of the Phyrexian invasion. When Phyrexia attacked, most of the Ravnican guilds united to repel the assault. Okay. With Phyrexia most defeated, Ravnica has been cut. eager to get back to normal. And what better way to demonstrate that the people's spirits remain unbroken than a big shindig at Karlov Manor? The host of the event was Tesa Karlov, guild leader, legendary aristocrat, and scion of the powerful Karlov family. During the Phyrexian invasion, she saved many lives by supplying key intelligence about the advancing armies. And so who could begrudge her for throwing a well-deserved party? Everyone who is anyone was there, and everyone else was trying to get in. <laughs> One featured guest was an old Orzov friend of Teza's, heroine Planeswalker Kaya. Ah, Kaya is the Planeswalker defeat, zurück, okay. Kaya has found herself back in her old stomping grounds, reluctantly attending the party. She is said... Let's look at control... Okay, also man braucht Tokens und man muss seinen Friedhof exilen. Okay, das kriegen wir natürlich hin, mit dem erst zu wählen und dann eine Karte exilen. 1-1 äh, schützt sich selbst. Also 4 Mana Planeswalker mit 3 Loyalty, der sich selbst beschützt. Äh, Vorteil generiert. Und natürlich wieder äh, Age of Commander, each, each other player. Ne? Man kennt es. Okay, ähm, super solid, ne? Das ist die Szene, looking for any reason to make her escape. In addition to celebrating a return to normalcy, the Karlov Manor Party served to cement a new status quo by hosting members of the Ravnica Agency of Magical Investigations. The Agency are a fresh force in Ravnican society, established to make sure that guild politics don't affect the investigation of actual crimes, or at least that they affect them less. One of the members of the agency is rookie investigator Kellen. Aha. Kellen, der treibt sich ja jetzt durch die ganze Storyline rum. Das wissen wir ja schon. Ähm, wir wissen ja auch schon, dass Oko sein Vater ist. Das ist jetzt also kein Spoiler mehr. Und Kellen bewegt sich über die Omen Paths von Welt zu Welt. Oh, wir hatten ihn ja jetzt auch in Xalan schon. Und er bringt natürlich immer sein Adventure mit. Äh, ich weiß nicht, ob Adventure deswegen Evergreen ist, aber ja, Kellen ist halt auf einem großen Adventure und ich würde mich schwer wundern, wenn wir nicht demnächst auch Oko treffen, der irgendwo seine Finger da im Spiel hat. Wir wissen ja schon in Thunder Junction, dieser Western-Welt, dass da Oko auftaucht. Also insofern, vielleicht äh, trifft Kellen dann dort seinen Vater. Investigate. You may play an additional Lantis turn, also ein bisschen exploren. Uh, Flying Vigilance 3-4 ist eine Rare in dem Fall jetzt. Attacks destroy up to one target artifact. Okay. Okay. Faire Karte. Human Fairy Detective hat er jetzt dazu bekommen. He is eager to follow the clues wherever they may lead him. The night proceeded as planned. The party's opulence drowning the recent woes of Ravnica in splendor and excess. But the festivities were interrupted when a body was found sprawled in the cloakroom on a pile yeah, of murder as It was the leader klar. of the Simic Guild, Zagana. The party was immediately awash in suspicion. As luck would have it, 
Alquist Proft, Ravnica's self-styled great detective, was on the scene as well, ready to investigate any okay. clues also that might have been left behind. Simic down, fish down. is a returning mechanic that immerses you in the feeling of being a detective and will have you digging deeper into the goings-on. It ja. enables you to create Kennen wir ja schon. Investigate ist ja war das letzte Mal schon gut, ist einfach eine solide Mechanik. Ne? Proft quickly realized two things. One, the seemingly random coats underneath Zagana display the insignias of each of the guilds. Not a clue so much as an anti-clue or a pile of red herrings. But he also noticed that someone was wearing Selesnian colors without the appropriate sigil. A disguise. The new disguise mechanic imbues the ja, game with a mechanic. sense of mystery. Any Okay, this guy. Yeah, let's 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 that 2-2 creature your opponent thought was safe to block is actually an angel. Perfect to fly over for some free lifelink. Also, äh, But before Wolf auf Steroiden. Could pull the mysterious guest aside, her true identity was revealed. Itrada is obviously guilty of the murder and yet has no memory of killing Zagana. Clearly the roots of this case go much deeper. Than Hier äh, die Mirkata muss ich kurz anschauen in aller Ruhe. Hallo Andy. Ähm Death Touch 1.4, ja, ein Power reicht bei Death Touch ja ganz gut. If you can't exile it. Ah, oh. Wow, also dann werden deine Face Down Creatures, ich sage jetzt einfach mal Morphs, ähm, zu Removal, wo du es auch noch casten kannst. Also, naja, sagen wir so, du kannst zumindest den ETB-Trigger wieder ausnutzen. Ha. Okay. An Assassin you control. Cloak the top card of that player's library. Jetzt bin ich schon mal, dass jeder Cloak ist. Than I initially suspected. Kaya was ready to leave the plane she ja, once called home, halt nicht, ne? but was summoned mm. back to the scene of the crime at Karlov Manor. Tesa claimed to have something important to tell her, but by the time Kaya arrived, Tesa's body was already cold. Another murder. Also, I had Tesa auch down. Written in Tesa's hand, but the script. Destroy target creature. Raktor spells. Ne, man kennt es. Target suspected creature you control. You may have become it no longer suspected. <laughs> okay. Was, was Tesa working for them? And could there be another murderer on the loose? With these unanswered questions spurring her on and a dead friend to put to rest, Kaya took on the case. Cases are a new mechanic okay. that allow you Nächste to mechanic. experience the different steps as a mystery unfolds, just as a detective would. Uh, okay, das ist eine Saga, die keine Saga ist, sondern ein Case. Wenn es ins Spiel kommt, investigate. Okay, to solve. Okay, wir haben eine Bedingung, die wir erfüllen müssen, um es zu solven. Und dann können wir bezahlen und den Case opfern. Wir haben ihn dann quasi erledigt. 411 Counter, okay. Ja. Yeah. Cases are quest-like enchantments with three abilities. Mm -hmm. The top ability is always active. The middle is a condition to solve the case and the bottom a reward once you've solved it. Okay. Back at the agency. Dann gibt's wahrscheinlich auch noch äh, Case Solve äh, Payoffs im weiteren im weiteren Sinne. Grundsätzlich äh, die Optik okay. Wir haben es ja bei Sagas schon gehabt, insofern jetzt mal nichts ganz Neues. Kaya and Kellen bumped into Agris Koss, who was one of Boros's best investigators when he was alive. Things hadn't changed much now that he's dead. Reluctantly assisting in the agency's investigation, he was prepared to catch any person suspected of foul. Okay, a suspected creature has menace and can't block. <laughs> okay, das heißt, wir müssen wieder irgendwie markieren, dass die jetzt suspected ist. If it's suspected, und wenn das schon ist, dann wird sie geexiled. Okay, also. Verdächtige kann er direkt ins Exil schicken, andere muss er erstmal verdächtigen. Okay. Old play. Suspect is another new mechanic which allows you to cast your well-honed detective eye at any creatures that looks like they might be up to no good. Suspected is a label that can be applied to a creature. A suspected creature has menace and can't block. 
Once suspected, a creature remains suspected until it leaves the battlefield or another effect causes it to no longer be suspected. Okay. Kaya and Kellen, beginning their investigation, went to speak to Judith of the Rakdos. Judith was present the night of the Karloff Manor party. Kaya was surprised she was even invited and more surprised to learn that Judith had a disagreement. Wait, wer mag denn keine Raktos Leute auf seiner Party? Das ist doch die Party Crew von Ravnica. Went with Tesa before her murder. Judith insisted that she was innocent, but did inform the detectives that they didn't have the whole story. She pointed them to the original guild pact at V2 Gazi and promised that it would clarify things. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Proft had decided to go about things a little differently. I have a new and unlikely partner, Itrada. After all, who would be more motivated to clear her name? And it helps to have an assassin okay. on it my side aber as I untangle this thicket of clues okay. and false leads. Etrada and Alquist headed to the last place she remembered being before waking up at the party, one of her assassin-friendly hiding places. <laughs> they discovered a fine yellow-gray powder dusting her bedside table okay. and pillowcase, their first major piece of evidence. Collect evidence is another new mechanic. You can solve a mystery in your head, but nothing is as important as hard evidence when bringing the guilty to justice. To yeah, that's why it's collect so evidence, right. exile any number of cards from your graveyard with the total mana value of the indicated number or greater. Okay. Some cards even unlock alternative effects when entering the battlefield, if evidence was collected. As Alquist pondered the meaning uh -huh. of the powder, he was attacked by Massacre Girl, an infamous Rakdos assassin. Thanks to a no Trata, killer. <laughs> Massacre Girl was sent packing. But okay, also Etrata hat Massacre Girl erledigt. Es gibt ja auch die Story übrigens. Ne? Ich versuch's mal aufzunehmen, ich kann's noch nicht versprechen. Oh, Viver ist auch wieder da? Ayemine. Äh, jetzt nicht der Riesenfan, dass wir jetzt auch wieder Viver haben, nachdem wir gerade erst äh, Poison hatten, also das andere Poison. Irgendwann verwechselt man die ganzen Dinger, ne? Draw a card. Okay, also wenn man irgendwas mit Minusmarken oder Minuseffekten killt, dann zieht man auch Karten. Relativ coole Karte, ne? Who would have hired her to kill Proft? And why? Hm. Kaya and Kellen headed out into the wilderness, or as close as Ravnica gets to wilderness, to see the new literal resting place of V2 Gazi as the giant tree recovers from the battle with the Phyrexians. Kaya and Kellen were stopped in front of their destination by Tulsimir and his wolf Voya. Tulsimir seemed standoffish and on edge, almost as though he and his pointy-toothed companion had something to hide. But ja, after fünf, a couple fünf. of tense moments, he agreed to lead our intrepid investigators inside V2 Gazi. Trostani, the Dryad Guildmaster of the Selesnia Conclave, have roots that tangle with the living wood of V2 Gazi, so that the two seem inextricable. Okay, also Death Touch verteilen, Vigilance oder Double Strike. Ja, nice. Also grundsätzlich mag ich übrigens hier die Art, wie sie die erzählen, ein bisschen Storytelling mit den Previews verbinden, das finde ich ganz cool. Trostani was once three Dryads, Sim representing Harmony, Oba representing life and Cess representing order. Now all are united with each other and the world tree. They pointed the investigators towards the guild pact they sought. The investigators learned that the cult of Rakdos was founded and bound to Rakdos in the hope that it would prevent him from his practice of instilling murderous rage into random citizens. <laughs> that sure sounds like what happened to Etrada. Etrada and Alquist headed to see Kylox the Inventor, hoping he might be able to shed some light on the mysterious powder. Es ist verdammt Alquist viel Wort unterwegs, oder? In der Edition kann das sein. Had to do with murders, and knew that only an advanced scientific mind could help him get to the bottom of it. But when he and Etrada arrived at Kylox's lab, they found it in a state of turmoil. Alquist combed through the ransacked lab for clues and discovered a secret disguised hatch that led underneath the lab. Kylox must have tried to escape. Alquist and Atrada followed the path only to find the missing Kylox working furiously in a secret office. Before they had a chance to discuss the powder, a group of goblins broke in to capture the artificer. Alquist and Atrada were able to quickly hide from being taken themselves, but <laughs> managed to follow the group to somewhere on Tin Street. They discovered that Krenko, another okay, suspect who felt that he was the one in danger, was behind Kylox's kidnapping. 
Cranko believed that Kylox's well, secret research was control. the key to the recent spate of murders. As if on cue, yet another brainwashed Ravnikan made an attempt on Cranko's life. But his aim fell short, and instead of Cranko, Kylox was killed. Also viele bekannte Namen und Gesichter, ne? Es geht aber ganz schön wild zur Sache. Also jeder versucht jeden zu, zu töten gefühlt. We managed to rouse the murderer from his stupor. He was confused and horrified. He claimed to have been at the flower shop. And then suddenly here he was assassinating a scientist he had never even heard of. How curious. Hmm. At this point in the investigation, it was clear that victims were piling up at an alarming rate. What had started as a search for Zagana's killer had now spiraled into something much more wide-ranging and insidious. Tessa and Kylox had both been murdered in cold blood, and there were more bodies to come. As Proft and Atrada were contemplating the scope of this case, across town, the agency informed Kaya and Kellen that Tessa's killer had been captured, a low-level hitman with no memory of the attack. <laughs> and the bad news kept coming. Since she last crossed paths with Proft, Massacre Girl had attempted to murder Aurelia, killing 10 of her soldiers in the process. Massacre Girl, echoing the other killers so far, said she didn't know why she attacked Aurelia. Aurelia. Ja, das, äh, ich kann mir gut vorstellen, dass Aurelia das nicht so gut findet, wenn sie auf einmal von Massacre Girl angegriffen wird. Aurelia would not accept this answer. Ja, das she gave Kaya and Kellen 24 hours to solve the case, or she'd march the Legion to war against the cult of Rakdos. Almost certainly. Also hier ähm, eine Hymne, Creatures you control plus 1 plus 1. To each opponent. Uh, uns pinkt auch noch rum. Äh, das wird man doch mit Tokens ganz sicher gut abusen können. Jetzt gibt es einen kleinen Katja leider, ich habe mich verklickt, aber geht weiter. Plunging Ravnica back into chaos. They were so close to finding the truth, but now the pressure was on. Elsewhere, Proft and Atrada were in Golgari territory Stimmt, in the Golgari city, haben wir noch nicht hunting down Izoni. Proft had noticed her spiders in Atrada's cell, and again in Kylox's underground lab. Clearly, Izoni was keeping tabs on the case. But why? Once found, Izoni denied any wrongdoing, but was able to confirm for them what Kylox could not. Whatever the powder they found is, it is not from Ravnica. I know who the killer is. Obvious, really, when you think about it. I'll reveal all in front of a group of interested parties, including the culprit. Mm. You'll just have to join me at V2 Gazi to learn the truth. Also, klassische Murder of the Orient Express oder Mord auf dem Nil, ne? Der Täter wird immer enttarnt, während alle dabei sind, ne? Herkul Perot mäßig. So, given what we know, who has Proft identified as the killer? who had the motive and the means. Tessa hosted the party during which the first murder occurred. She could have let das in the killer, Clue but Artwork, she ended up a victim Artwork. herself. Ja. And she appears to have had something to hide about the Phyrexian invasion. While she might have been involved somehow, we can rule her out as the main culprit. <laughs> Etrada was clearly the one who murdered Zagana, but at the same time, she had no memory of the event itself. And she assisted Prof in gathering further clues, is she the murderer playing Übrigens auch äh, wird das die Welt von Ravnica ganz schön verändern. Ne? Also viele Guildleader oder Guildbekanntheiten werden hier jetzt äh, müssen ersetzt werden. Das heißt, wir werden eine Menge neue Legenden kriegen. Hallo Commander Spieler. A long and complicated game or just the murder weapon. Judith had her own quarrel with Tessa, though she claims it was minor, but she also knew about the guild pact with Rakdos. Is it possible she's involved in the murders, or does she have her own cunning plan? <laughs> Massacre Girl is, as the name implies, a known killer. She not only attempted to knock off Alquis Proft, but also attacked Aurelia. Is she, like Atrada, an unwitting pawn for someone else? Or is something more sinister going on beneath that not-so-innocent smile? Kylox felt threatened for the secret projects he was working on, but didn't reveal what those were while he was alive. Is it possible it had something to do with the powder that Proft found? Either way, his death rules him out as a suspect. <laughs> Krenko was convinced he was next on the murderer's hit list, and he was attacked by one of the brainwashed assailants. But they ended up killing the very scientist Krenko had just had kidnapped. 
Is it possible that he was behind the murders and used the attack on himself to dispose of an enemy and waylay suspicion? The massacre girl's Klug attack on Aurelia gave her the perfect pretext to launch an all-out war. But what if she was the one helping the murders along in order to establish a call for war that no one could question? Still, it seems unlikely that such a righteous figure would be so underhanded as to stoop to murder. Agris was a beacon of justice in his life, but called back into the service by the Boros Legion, he disappeared without telling anyone his intentions. Could he be hiding something? Agris had no motive. He was only aiding in the investigation. A ghost just looking to retire. He was clearly not involved. <laughs> a ghost we can looking him to out. retire. Could Trostani be involved? They seem innocent, but their guild has been through much turmoil as a result of the Phyrexian invasion. Could it have unbalanced the Dryads in some way, turning a healthy tree into something twisted and gnarled beyond recognition? And even if they didn't act directly, they are connected to another of our suspects. Several of the mesmerized Ravnican assailants had vestiges of fur on their robes, a possible sign that they were working for Tulsimir and his mount, the Great Wolf Voya? Izoni had eyes on each phase of the investigation. Etrata's cell, mm -hmm. Kylox's lab. Was she just keeping tabs like she said, or trying to remain one step ahead of an investigation she knew would lead to her? Or perhaps we should look more closely at the great detective at the center of this web. He has been at almost every crime scene, and this murder spree has burnished his reputation. Is he working both sides of this case? Good produziert, übrigens. <laughs> this case was a tricky one. It seemed easy to solve at first. Of course, Atrada killed Zagana. We practically caught her red-handed. I witnessed Kylox's death, but the attacker surrendered without a fight. Someone had to be pulling the strings all along. So I called everyone here because I knew that the perpetrator was among you and that they wouldn't be able to resist taking me out before I exposed them. Fliegen wir so laut auf Zahlen durch. Ob das nun Zufall ist, sei jetzt auch mal dahingestellt. A flower grew from the wall and attempted to dose her with what appears to be mind control pollen, triggering my demise. Oh, Thanks Assassin's Trophy kriegt ein Reprint. Wurde das gerade genannt? Das haben sie gut getan, ey. Ich scroll mal kurz zurück. This was the flower that attempted to dose her with what appears to be mind control pollen. Da schaut Assassin's Trophy. Kommt also zurück. Und damit auch ein Standard. Triggering my demise. Thanks to Izoni's help, we knew that this powder was not something we've ever seen here. This was the final piece of evidence I needed. The killer is none other than Oba, the central member of Trastani. Only Trastani has the power to create a new form of life like this. Any plant in the city was able to be used as a delivery system for the pollen. So that's the method and the means. As for motive, each of the people Trastani killed or tried to kill was involved with the Phyrexian invasion. Tesa was communicating with them, though I'm told she was actually acting as a double agent for the benefit of Ravnica. Kranko profited off the war, and Zagana was experimenting with Phyrexian oil. No one was more damaged by the Phyrexian invasion than Trastani, mm. emissaries of all living things on this plane. And so, no one had a motive for murder like them. So there we have it. Oba, the central member of Trostani, was behind the plot, and Alquist Proft, with our help, managed to put the pieces okay. together. But the larger mystery has just Lust begun. Das denn mit den drei There are so many more puzzles to solve and secrets to uncover with murders at Karlov Manor. Your eye to detail and detective skills are still needed. In addition to playing the new set, there are 12 puzzles and Don't one meta puzzle to solve. Klar. You can find your first puzzle in the pre-release kit and then discover more in products like Anfang play Keywords boosters and the bundle. Go to RavnicaDetectiveAgency.com for more puzzles and the final meta puzzle. And if you feel like okay. attending meta a party puzzle? less okay. deadly than the one at Karlov Manor, you can play early at your local game store for pre-release starting the weekend of February 2nd, yeah. on Arena February 6th, and available early access everywhere February that would have been if you want even more tantalizing clues and details about the murders at Karloff Manor, story episodes are currently rolling out. Keep a sharp eye out for any further yeah, clues, detectives. Ravnica is still counting on show. you to solve the remaining puzzles. Gucken, ob noch ganz in der letzten Sekunde noch irgendein Clue kommt, mit dem wieder keiner rechnet. Nein. 
ja, okay. Ähm, was soll ich sagen? Also war super gut produziert. Ähm, die Mechaniken waren jetzt irgendwie alles schon mal so da gewesen und auch irgendwie so gar nicht Evergreen, wie Viver war auf einmal wieder da auf einer Karte. Äh, ich bin gespannt. Graveyard ist wieder eine Sache. Das eine wirkt wie ein Upgraded Morph. Viel Ward haben wir gesehen, viele Ward-Effekte. Das macht Tragedingen gar nicht so einfach. Grundsätzlich, ich bin gespannt. Das Setting gefällt mir. Story wurde gut verkauft, also Hut ab. Und dann hoffe ich, wir sehen uns mit ganz viel Unboxings und Deckbaus und Draft-Decks und so weiter. Und hoffe, ihr habt Spaß mit Call of Männer. Bis bald.